first I'm gonna head over to the McDonald's to upload the second video this will be in the third and then I'm gonna go to Guadalupe National Park and climb this mountain so let's do this Fort Davis historical site let's see what it's got to offer Pretty nice view. Forget I let the text out. Beat them real quick. On, on the top of this mountain, there is an observatory. That's like where you look at the stars, those big dome looking things. So we'll go check that out next. Yo, my man really just fell over on the bike and the lady almost went off the edge. Like, bro, I'm gonna go see if they need help real quick though. We made it out to the observatory. Let's check it out. Here goes a smaller one. Let's see if this puppy's open. Dang it. Boy, you gotta love Texas. 80 mile per hour. Let's go. All right, so I'm in Van Horn. Um, I just stopped at this little motel and asked if I could, you know, use their water hose right here to top off my tank and he said cool. So shout out to that guy because that's pretty cool. Alrighty guys, I'm pretty sure that is the Guadalupe mountain ahead of me. So that is the mountain I will be climbing. And for those who don't know, that is the tallest peak in Texas. It's over 8,000 feet. I don't know the exact number, but let's do this. So I did make it into Guadalupe National Park. Been here for a couple hours actually. Um, just been kind of hanging out. I was gonna do the um, the trail up the mountain, but it's like eight and a half miles and it takes about six hours. So I'm actually gonna do that in the morning. So stay tuned for that. It should be pretty awesome. The last little bit of sun on the mountaintop. Good morning. It's day eight. Up early taking Texan for a walk before I go on my hike. Stay tuned for that because it's going to be pretty crazy. Tallest peak in Texas. Thousand, so I'll be hiking eight and a half miles distance and 3,000 miles up, which is more than a half a mile. So it's a pretty good hike. So let's tackle this baby. Alrighty, this is the start of the trail. It's currently 756. Let's see how long it takes me. Whew. I don't even think I've gone that far yet. Camper's down there somewhere. Sheesh. Let's keep moving. We're finishing this thing. Don't fall. That's all I made it, y'all. I'm getting there. All right, y'all. I can see the other side. Basically climb one mountain. Gotta keep going. This is not even the peak. It's, it's on the other side. Keep on pushing. Keep on pushing. I just passed it, but there is a campsite like somewhere in there. So you can camp overnight here. Almost to this peak. Probably got two other ones. Let's go. Our first bridge. Bridge. Ugh. 
still don't think that's it. It's on the other side of that. Let's keep going. All right, for those at home watching, don't do this to yourself. Just, just watch me do it. No, I'm kidding. It's kind of weird, actually. When I first started it, I had to take a break like every 100 feet, and it was hard. But now, you think it would get harder because I'm way higher in elevation, so it's harder to breathe, and, but I feel like it's easier now, and I'm taking less breaks, so that's always a plus. Alrighty, guys, I lied. It's hard again. Not there yet. But I figure I'd give you a little view. Holy cow, guys, I'm still not at the top, but. That's some shit, ain't it? Holy crap, guys. I see it. We made it. Everyone was like, I guess the power's out, I'm going to figure it out in terms of the wind, um, but nice they, we were kind of racing for no power for the night, but they were started up. It's time to head on down. This should be a lot easier than coming up. Alright guys, so I'm a little mad. I forgot to get the drone shots when I was at the top. I'm probably more than halfway down now, but I'll get some now, so... Check out these. Sweet home, baby. Also, guys, something pretty cool. My sister called 94.5. They do like a call-in Friday type deal. And she got on the line and she shouted me out on the radio. So it was on the radio and they got it on their podcast. And I'll actually add the clip um, of her shout-out on the video. So check it out. Phones Friday. Let's go back over to the phones. Uh, Jennifer. Hi, Jennifer. Good morning. Hey, what's up? What you got hey. for us today? I just wanted to give my brother Justin a quick shout out. Uh, he decided to quit his job. He bought a truck camper and he's going on a 100 day road trip. And I just wanted to wish him the best of luck and say that he is documenting his adventure on YouTube. So if anybody would like to go follow along or show him some love, please subscribe to his YouTube channel at Joke Show. Spell it. S-H-O-P-E-S-H-O-W. How old is he that he's picking up and just driving around the country? 
26. Yeah, that's it, it, your window is closing. So yeah, 26. That okay. sounds like so much fun. Yeah, go for it. Show, show. I wish him the best. I really do. Nicole, good morning. So yeah, that's freaking rad. Shout out to Jennifer, my sister. You're the freaking best. Good morning, guys. <clears throat> it's day nine. I just left Guadalupe National Park. Um, I'm only gonna head like 20 miles up the road to uh, Carlsbad National Park. They got some caverns there. Um, I originally wasn't gonna go. Um, I was just gonna skip it. Um, but I met a nice couple over there at Guadalupe National Park and uh, they convinced me to go. So I'm gonna go get my National Park Pass and uh, make it a good time. So see you guys there. Alrighty boys, I'm officially out of Texas and I am in New Mexico. Let's get it. Carlsbad Caverns. All right, so change of plans. They don't let you keep the dog in the car, so they have a kennel system, which I was like, oh, that's really cool. Um, but I went over there, and you need the shot records, and the last thing I thought I would need is Texan shot records, so I don't have those, so they're not allowing me to stay, so I guess I got to kind of leave. So no caverns today. So I guess I'll head on to White Sands National Park because that's not too far either. It's west, so let's get there. All right, y'all, I was feeling dirty. So I went to the truck stop. They wanted $20 to take a shower. I was like, they're crazy. Got a line, found a hotel for 40 bucks. I said, to hell with it, I'm doing that. So, I'll be in a hotel tonight, and then probably go to White Sands tomorrow. So, stay tuned. And they had free breakfast. Just had a shower, feeling fresh. About to head to the Walmart, go pick up some supplies. I'm gonna try to get a little mount, so when I do my time lapses, it's better, because I literally been holding it while I'm driving for all those time lapses and uh, probably try to go see if I can get a microphone because this audio stuff is getting on my nerves. I'm trying to have the best videos for you guys. So let's go do this. Back secured. Alrighty guys, that is going to do it for this video. Um, I was looking for something to do, but there really ain't nothing to do in this town. I even asked some locals and they were like, oh, we don't know. There ain't nothing to do. There was this boat ride but since COVID, it was shut down. It was only six bucks too. It took you up to the Picos River because I'm by that again. So hope you guys enjoyed. That mountain was freaking tough. No lie. One of the hardest things I've ever done, but I'm so glad I did it. And thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time.